So we made a pretty simple contraption here. This is just a endoscope. You can see the camera there and it's displaying it on the phone. And then we have a coat hanger. It's just the wire here. And we ran this down and then we were able to loop the camera around. So if we want to see the inside of a cylinder here, I can drop it in. And with this in the cylinder, I can see that ring up there. And like on a car, we could take a look at the condition of the valves and see if there's anything wrong. So this is a kind of nice, nice gadget here we can inspect the valves with. So we'll take a look here on this engine. What we're looking for is a burnt valve, kind of like this with a chip out of it, or if we could see if it would be like a bent valve like that. We know we have something fishy with the cylinder. We can hear it coming out of the intake valve, actually. The compression test, we get 150, but all the other ones are 185. And we got about 35% on the leak down test. So there's something fishy going on with this cylinder. So if we take the camera down in there, take it, just careful not to get it stuck. Seems a little tight. Just wiggle, there's a little ridge that you're trying to get it past. So, there we go, I felt it. Now I'm feeling it go in. So we're in the cylinder right now. We can see the edge of a valve right here. If I spin it a little bit this way, if you look right there, right on that valve, that's not right. There's definitely some burnt like right there it's kind of almost blown out that's not really what we want to see that's not what the valve should look like this valve over here is what it should look like a uniform arc and it's not all burnt and chipped like that that's definitely not good that's not what we want to see and that is on the intake side of the cylinder so if this is causing our leak which it probably is that looks like a smoking gun. So right here, this is the edge of the valve. It looks like there's a little bit of a bump or a burr along this side here, which definitely isn't supposed to be there, whether it's a carbon buildup or something like that, that could be causing it not to seat properly. I'm not totally sure if that, just the corrosion there is just carbon buildup or the valve is actually starting to burn away there but we know that's not normal if you look at the other valve. It's hard to see, but that's all one consistent color. This one, it has like shiny spots. It, it's definitely not looking uniform like the other one, which it should. So I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a bend so I can get a little bit more of an angle there and get a better view of the valve. And I mean, for a $15 or less camera, this really is doing a good job. It's doing what we need. So I'm going to try sliding this back down here into the cylinder. It can be a little tricky, you just got to think which way is it pointing and just try to work it through there. If it's feeling like it's not going to go in and it's going to get stuck, don't put it in. But this seems like it's just the perfect size that once you get it lined up, it'll just slide right in. So we didn't want to get it stuck in the cylinder, that would not be good. So we have this small engine here, it's from a, maybe a chainsaw or a weed whacker. And it has the same size hole right there and we test fit it just to make sure it wouldn't get stuck in there, we could get it out. Cause that would be bad if it got stuck down in the head and we had to clip it or something like that. But now if we get a better look, I just with that little extra bend, if we just position it right, it's always tricky to see. It's like always if you had just a little brighter of a light, but you're sacrificing light for room. So there's smaller lights on it, but it's a lot smaller. And I mean, it's just, I mean, I'm not sure, but it kind of looks like it's not seating properly right there. If I bring it up closer, it just looks like there's room. I'm not, I'm not liking that valve. It just looks suspicious. So just for $15 or less, you can get this endoscope and just take a look at your valves and see if they're in good condition or not. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.